Hey, it's Joel. I really hope this works because Sean's not here. He's back at his house editing and I'm, we have a new camera system. So I'm trying to use it and hopefully it works out. But what you see here is a giant pile of money. I've taken all the money out of the fan mail box because Bender, my friend that used to work for the radio station, is doing a walk across Washington state and getting donations for the Seattle Children's Hospital Uncompensated Care Fund. I'll have more details at the end of this video and I'll tell you how much is right here and how much is gonna go to him. But if you're interested, go to givetothekids.com right now and pledge to Bender. Hopefully you're seeing this while he's still walking. But uh, okay, on with the video. Hey, it's Joel. Welcome to another edition of Fan Mail Friday, the show where we get to open up awesome things sent our way. If you're ever interested, the description has the address where you can send stuff to. Of course, we have our normal channel, 3D Printing Nerd, where we talk about 3D printing and all the fun stuff there. But over here on Technically Nerdy, we kind of get nerdy, technically, and fan mail is nerdy. So let's start off right at the top with this letter from no one. From no one. Okay, it's all right, it's okay. We'll just open it up. There's gonna be a name on the inside, I bet. And there is, inside we have, ooh, we have a self-addressed stamped envelope. We have five US dollars, and we have a note. We have a note. Dear Joel, that's me. Hello, my name is Jeremy, and I'm a maker in Iowa. You, along with Devin from Make Anything, inspired me to get a 3D printer and start making things. A couple years ago, I bought the Creality CR10 and, la and I absolutely love it. While I started out, as many people do, printing cool things I found on Thingiverse and messing around, I have recently started designing models and making my own things. With the help of you and fellow YouTubers, I caught on to the basics of Fusion 360 pretty quickly and fell in love with making. I've included on the back some photos of a recent project I'm working on. I really liked your filament shelves. And as I was in need of a filament storage solution, I made some myself. My project involves what I call end caps. Right now, I just have a blank cap, and I plan on making more versions, such as a hook, a caliper mount, or even a make anything poly panel version. Please let me know if you have any ideas. I also collect stickers, and I really want to support your mission of raising money for your local children's hospital. I hope you can send me some for my collection and possibly even sign an additional one. I would love to have them. Thank Thank you so much for everything you have done for the community, and I hope you have a wonderful day. High five. Jeremy from Iowa. Jeremy, my friend, these are well, these are wonderful filament shelves. Yeah, let's see. Have a look, you guys. Filament shelves. I like it. More importantly, though, let's get down to business. First things first. <laughs> Jeremy from Iowa. This is Joel from Seattle, and you get a sticker. Next up is this box, and this box, well, it's already open. <laughs> Sometimes I can't wait to open the boxes because when people are with me and they're riding in my car, they wanna know what's in the box, and I'll be like, no, I could open it Fan Mail Friday, and then they're like, please, and I'm like, okay. So this one opened up, and I just, look at, there's Stroopwafels, and there are little Stroopwafel cookies. Who doesn't like a Stroopwafel cookie? Inside we have a self-addressed envelope. We have an unnamed envelope. It's got something in it. We've got, uh, this is, this is the, the packing slip. We don't need that. <laughs> Ooh, and some note stuff. Here we go. Oh wait, let's see. Well, I think I need to open this up because it's, it, it talks about something. So, look at that. Oh, the, isn't that just freaking, um, wow, that is amazing. Okay, so first, $20 bill. Times two, and look at that outline of Seattle right there. That, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> Hi, Joel. Hi, Sean. It took some time to get US dollar bills as almost everybody pays with plastic when abroad. It's hard to get your hands on foreign money here in the Netherlands. As I mentioned through Patreon, we visited Seattle in February 2016 because of a Microsoft gathering, brought the wife, and we enjoyed the very short week while visiting Boeing, Pike Place Market, the Experience Music Project, Woodland Park Zoo, the Space Needle, and so on. We really started to love Seattle on that short break. Even the drive from the airport to the hotel after a long flight with no sleep was a laugh because our driver mentioned that South Park actually exists in Seattle. We couldn't stop laughing. 
We even left Seattle with an addiction, Starbucks. There are some Starbucks shops popping up here so we can fulfill our addiction every once in a while. And there's uh, South Park on a map. South Park, Seattle on a map. I like that. As for the Netherlands, have you ever been there? I haven't yet. I've always wanted to go though. It is really different than the US. For one, it has, it is the same weather, the whole country. It's only uh, 41.5 square kilometers from which 18% is water. And we are about 17 million people living on that small piece of land. We do have some nice food though, French fries, but a little wider called patate friette with lots of nice sauces and even onions really have to try. And cheese, the Dutch are well known for that worldwide, especially the cheese from Gouda. Gouda? It's Gouda cheese, right? Gouda? G-O-U-D-A, Gouda. Try to pronounce that. I think I got it. Gouda. I hope it's Gouda. I didn't include any patate friette or cheese, but I did include two kinds of Dutch stroopwafels. The large pack are original stroopwafels. The small ones are caramel sea salt. Oh, that's amazing. Don't give any to the kids before bed. They will be up all night. I hope you and Sean and the family enjoy them. I also printed a nice Seattle skyline and, uh, it is printed in a Molen marble PLA. Nice looking filament for these kind of prints and busts and statues. Hope it doesn't break on the way. It did not. It's all good right here. Last but not least, the US dollar bills. 20 is for Seattle Children's Hospital and the other 20 is for your channel. I also included a self-addressed envelope and the stickers already have a spot reserved on my 3D printer workbench. Keep up the good work with the channel. Really like the content and I do learn something with almost every video with very kind regards. Har5, Martin Jansen. Martin, that is wonderful. And uh, well, this print is awesome. The Stroopwafel gifts, those are fantastic. Uh, See, that's what everything came in, so we don't need that. We do have a self-addressed stamped envelope. We got some business to take care of. First things first. I know you said 20 for Seattle Children's Hospital and 20 for the channel, but I firmly believe in the power of giving, and I think that both 20s going to the hospital will do some kids some good. So that's, that's uh, my decision. So a big thanks for the $40 for Seattle Children's Hospital. Now though, Really hope to make it to the Netherlands someday, Martin. Uh, but if I don't, I'm sorry. Hopefully, uh, these stickers do make it in time, though, because Martin, you get stickers. <sighs> Boy, last, certainly not least, this is from Jared, who goes by the Nor on Twitter. I met Jared. Uh, Sean and I met Jared at uh, Printed Solid when we went there not that long ago. Really cool dude. I like that guy. Hope to hang out with him again. Because Sean and I will be at Earth, and uh, I, I, I would like to think that Jared, along with many others on the East Coast, will be at Earth. Jared sent this massive box. And I've got it open. Let's see what's on the inside. Inside, we have... Styrofoam. No, seriously, Jared. Thanks. <laughs> oh, uh, this is, there's a box in a box. Okay. Oh, geez. And it says open carefully. There's a box in a box. And uh, I want to see if I can take this apart. sealed with wax it's sealed with wax and, and a high five print so that's that's pretty fantastic Jared <laughs> I'm gonna break the wax seal trying to oh no okay there's a little <laughs> Jared you're killing me man okay Okay, oh, look, it's it's a pickle, Rick. And here's the letter. Oh, and here's a little envelope containing a t-shirt folded. Uh, oh, geez, it is a, geez, Jared. It is a $50 bill, $50 bill. I'll put this with the, the pickle, Rick. Oh, wait. There's, boy, I'm glad I didn't. 
like a maze. And a $2 bill. Wow, I haven't seen a $2 bill in quite a while. Those are fun. Okay, that's it. That's it in that one. Let's open this. Well, should we read it first? Uh, no, 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 no. Let's just open it. Because I bet he's going to talk about what's inside in the letter. And I don't want to spoil it by by reading the letter first. Well, it's, it's packed well. Cardboard. Cardboard. <laughs> In case the wax ruined the first letter, this is, this is the same letter. Okay, so just, just to show you, uh, it kind of got ripped and torn a bit. So this letter gets retired and I'm gonna read from the actual, uh, the, the, the good letter. Jeez, okay, uh, so inside we have, uh, Jared, you trying to make me bigger? Oh my God, tasty cakes. Coffee Cake Juniors. Peanut butter candy cakes. Butterscotch crimpets. I don't even know that's a word. Ooh, some La Colombe coffee. Nizza medium roast and Corsica darker roast. Look, at those are amazing. Right there. Um, uh, this looks to be a print. Let's just set this to the side for now. This is just packing material. This is, uh, oh, these are, these are prints. Okay, and then, oh, and right at the bottom is a self-addressed stamped envelope. Okay, let's put this aside. <laughs> oh, this is uh, Saba Sword, my guess. My, my guess, my, my guess, my guess on this is that it, it's a Power Rangers thing. That's my guess. Am I doing something wrong? I don't know. Maybe it doesn't go that way. Uh, Jared, uh, I think these are scaled incorrectly. <laughs> There's no way that this fits into that. But, but we'll set it aside for now. Uh, okay. There's more boxes. Wait, let's let's go to this one. Uh, Prusa Research. Oh, look at that. Looks like uh, covers that actually say Prusa. Research, oh, and, oh, wow, and the buttons. Oh, look at that. So they are multi-material prints. They are multi-material prints. So it actually has the inline name in a different color. Those are cool. Okay. And finally, in this one, it says Philly Dilly. Philly Dilly. Philly Dilly. There we go. Very good. I know what this is. Do not cut here. Do not cut here. What does that mean? Do cut here? Boy, it's like an adventure. Oh, there we go. Look at that. This. I imagine this to be an air horn. That's what I imagine. And this, do I just plug it in? Maybe. Okay. It's Everything's fine. 
fine. I just had to yell downstairs. Wow. Wow. So, um, this looks to be the type of um, motor that would be <laughs> an RC car because it's got a battery, it's got an electronic speed controller, it's got a it's got a knob. Something's going to get really loud just a second. Okay, here we go. Wow, that's um that's cool. It actually says Philly Dilly 3D Printing Nerd on it. Okay, I gotta disconnect the batteries because uh, I'm gonna have way too much fun with that. <sighs> Look at that. <laughs> okay, let's get to the letter. Holy crap. Hello, Mr. Telling, it's Jared from the Printed Solid Meetup. Jared, I've told them this already. I have finally found some time to assemble this fan mail package. You are notorious for opening the fan mail goodies before reading the enclosed letters. I'm trying my best to combat that. Inside you will find another box. Open it after you read this letter. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. First off, I'm glad you moved fan mail to the new channel because knowing you, you will take more time and love to address every letter and package that comes in. Even though they are opened weeks, sometimes months later, hopefully you will get to this one by summer of 2020. Dude, it is, it is literally not summer of 2020. Just kidding, it's out of love, which Philadelphia is known for, but in our own special way. Even though you only spent a fraction of time in our glorious airport region, I feel as if I should at least try to make up for that beautiful and humble experience. Enclosed, you will find some treats from the city of brotherly love. I know you love coffee, so I've included some La Colombe blends. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. They are headquartered in Philly and are a staple for productivity, at least in my household. I have also included a Philly Dilly surprise. If you don't understand Philadelphia and its sports fans, this will bring you up to speed. I've made a few of these for friends, but none quite as custom as this. It's glorious in its absolute absurdity, and I love it to pieces. I would have tossed in some Philly pretzels, but I know it would have been rock hard by the time you opened it. Also, the same with cheesesteak. <laughs> However, the tasty cake should suffice for now. After seeing your video about the Prusa crotch cooling capabilities, I noticed the Prusa printers were a little too stock looking, so I've included some Prusa aesthetic upgrades. Hopefully, you'll find some time to install them or just make Sean do it. If I make Sean do it, it'll probably take longer. All of the prints have been done with my Prusa Mark III S with MMU2, which I can't believe you haven't obtained. Hopefully you'll get an MMU2 soon. I'm sure a lot of people would love to see some of your coverage on it. I've included a donation for Seattle Children's Hospital and a self-addressed stamped envelope for some stickers. Jared, you've included, you've included $52. <laughs> Thank you so much. Here's to you, Joel, the most inspirational 3D printing nerd out there. Please give the wife and kids some high fives from me. Much love from Philly. Jared, a.k.a. The Nor. P.S. Rick wanted to go on an adventure with you, so I figured I'd send him to you. There he is. I'll take him on an adventure as well. PPS, hey, Sean, you rock. I'm excited to see what you and your new roommate are going to cook up in the future. I've included a Power Rangers Saba sword for your assembling pleasure. Also, please post more Power Rangers prints. Good Lord, that was amazing. Good Lord, that was amazing. I don't even, I don't even know anymore. So, um, Jared, you wanna, I, I don't know why you included $52. Um, I don't know, I don't know, but it is going to be incredibly welcome. And Jared, let's get down to business. First things first. Jared, my, my friend here, this is, Wonderful. I can't believe what you've sent in, and it brings an immense smile to my face. And you've given a considerable amount to Seattle Children's Hospital, and for that, I will be forever thankful. And I hope to get to see your wonderful face soon. But until then, these will have to suffice. Jared, you get stickers. Boy, with that, let's call this Fan Mail Friday just... Let's call it good. 
Holy cow. We've had a lot of fun here. We made a lot of noise. I think it's time to safely put away the Evan and Caitlin knife and save it for the next time. If you ever want to send anything into the channel, it is never required, but if you choose to do so, the address will be in the description of every video here and over on the main channel, 3D Printing Nerd. I hope you're subscribed to both. That was it, that was Fan Mail Friday. Thanks again for joining us. And thanks again always for the, the, the people that are able to send something in. That's always fun, especially the money because that goes to the Seattle Children's Hospital Uncompensated Care Fund. Think of it this way, the Uncompensated Care Fund is for families or individuals or kids that might not be able to afford the care otherwise. Seattle Children's Hospital turns away no one and the money that's raised that goes to the Uncompensated Care Fund is a way of helping these kids and families who may not otherwise be able to get into the hospital for treatment and and help, it gets them help. What Bender's doing right now is walking across the Washington state, the Washington state that I live in here. And it's gonna take him, I think, 20 some odd days. And he's trying to raise $100,000. Everyone out there who's sent money in this year that went into the big Mario cube, and that cube is, well, it's right here. And this giant pile of money, That's the fun part. This giant pile of money right here. This is $1,000. This is $1,000 US. And then if you add on to that, the $500 that I made from selling off those limited edition Joel Bond magnets, not Joel Bond, mini Joel magnets, then we're raising a grand total of $1,500 US dollars for Seattle Children's Hospital and the Uncompensated Care Fund. That's pretty dang fantastic and it wouldn't be possible without everyone out there and their support their love and their kindness so from the bottom of my heart thank you thank you again it's give to the kids.com and bender is walking across washington state right now raising money for the seattle children's hospital uncompensated care fund if you have the means and can give a buck or two i'm sure it'll get put to use and will be greatly appreciated now for real don't forget to hug each other more thank you very much as always high five